Not all gear in the RV has to be RV specific. So today I'm gonna to share with you my top favorite gear that we have in the RV that's not RV specific, but always in the RV. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I want to share with you a handful of things that really have nothing to do with RVing that we love for RVing. So they help us enjoy that RVing process even more. So let's dive right into the list. And one thing that we love are these microfiber towels. And there's a handful of reasons why. Number one, they are small and compact. This is still a 60 by 30 large towel to be able to dry off with. And look how small and compact that this can get to be able to pack away. So if you wanted an extra towel, it's not taking up a ton of space in your cabinets, your small limited cabinets inside of the RV. And they dry very quickly. They dry you off well after a shower, but they dry quickly. So if it's cold in the winter time and things aren't drying out quite as fast, these will still dry so that when you go to use your towel the next time, it's not damp. It is a dry towel for you or humid environments. We RV'd in Florida in the summertime and that humid environment, sometimes our normal towels weren't drying that well, but these microfiber ones, they were drying quickly and we didn't have to worry about having a moist towel the following time you wanted to take a shower. So you can see that combination of a large towel to be able to use, but having it in a small compact package for storage and quick drying, it's really a winning combination for RVing. I'll put a link down in the description to everything that we're talking about today because this wasn't the first round of the microfiber towels that we tried. The first round was a little bit stiffer, not quite as absorbent, and these are much nicer to be able to use. So uh, this brand and the Wise Owl brand have been great to use. Now, the second thing we don't use every single day like we do those microfiber towels, but it is my backpack, and we use it quite often for hikes. And this is a photography backpack, but it's better than just a photography backpack. You can use it for other things too, but it's designed to be able to have the camera slip right into the side here. So I can have the camera, I can have a lens, and a, another item inside of here. So I think this is fantastic because it protects the camera, but if you didn't have a camera and you weren't into photography, I think this is a great backpack because you could put whatever you wanted to have in here be protected. So if you were packing a lunch and going out there, who wants to have a lunch that got smashed after hiking all day? So you can have an area inside of this backpack that whatever you want to have protected can go into this section here and be protected. I feel like with this backpack, I've actually put it through quite a few of its paces, testing it out in a, a lot of hikes. And uh, we've taken it from hiking in the rain, hiking in the fall, summer, but going to the bottom of waterfalls where this thing's just getting fully drenched. It even has a rain fly on the bottom that you can, you can pull out and you can cover the entire thing. So if it is raining, you can protect the backpack and keep it from getting completely soaked. For me, it's laid out well. The camera area doesn't overwhelm the entire backpack, so you can still use it for hikes and you have this top area where you can drop in layers or whatever else you need to carry along your hike. And then this top pouch, you can carry more gear, whether it's a headlamp or whatever you need to carry. And then you have the water bottle holder on the side. On the back, you have the reservoir, or the pouch for being able to hold the reservoir, or the bladder for being able to carry more water. And then you have a couple other compartments on the hip belt where you can keep extra things. So it's a nice layout for me for a backpack to keep in the RV. Another thing that I like to have on the RV for any of the outdoor activities is merino wool. Merino wool is absolutely amazing and I think is, is great for RVing because number one, it dries quickly, it keeps its thermal properties. It's not like your old traditional wool where it's scratchy and heavy and kind of thick and just not very comfortable to have against the skin. The new merino wool is so comfortable. It's almost like wearing something that's cotton against your skin. The other thing that I like about it is it's a good layer for like a, a cool evening, but it's also good for the winter. If you wanted to have that base layer before you put your jacket on, something that's gonna be a little bit more warm to keep that heat in, but it also holds its thermal properties when it's wet, which is fantastic. That's how I found out about it because we used to do a lot of hikes where I'd get pretty cold uh, swimming through water where we'd be floating our backpacks on a backpacking trip. And I would almost get to the edge of being hypothermic. And the merino wool made the difference of being able to go on certain hikes and not go on certain hikes. And the, the bonus with merino wool is it doesn't smell like you would get with your synthetics because it's antimicrobial and antifungal. So it's not going to have that 
body odor just kind of reeking inside and it's just a, a horrible thing. So you, you don't have to wash it near as often. So we usually hand wash it, but it doesn't get washed near as often as our other clothes. Merino wool is pretty expensive. So you have to try and find deals anywhere that you can because you have to buy it sparingly because it is so expensive. But the way that it performs, the way that it doesn't smell, it, it really is a good piece of clothing that's gonna last a long time. Now, another thing that we have on the RV, and this has to do with how we RV, is we love to go on hikes, so I have a handheld GPS. I like a dedicated GPS. Now, there is Gaia, there is a GPS you can have on your phone. You can look at the, the topo maps on there, you can put in waypoints, uh, and this works well, the app, so I'm gonna put a link down in the description to that, because it is very powerful for what you can do and what you can see. There is a subscription if you wanna download the maps for offline, which I think is really important, because if you're going hiking, you might get out of range and then all of a sudden if your GPS doesn't work, it's not going to do anything for you. So having a dedicated GPS isn't a bad idea. So this is one that I've had for a very long time. They have updated versions. I don't even think they sell this one anymore, but I can still put topo maps on here, which is extremely helpful. So that goes into when we're going off to do adventures or find places to photograph or just hikes, being able to get back, having that GPS is nice. So like I said, this one's a bit older, so it's kind of clunky but Garmin has a lot of great GPS's that you can put in those topo maps you can look at the trails and you can find your way and you can find your way back like I said you could do the app on your phone it is very powerful but you'd have to do a subscription to keep those maps downloaded onto your device and probably an additional way to be able to charge up the phone while you're out there you wouldn't want to have a dead battery and then you don't have any way to go with that so that brings us to one of the kind of a bonus extra thing in here the batteries in here I use as rechargeable batteries and I love having a rechargeable battery for AA and AAA inside of the RV. It feels like you always need batteries for something and I just hate buying batteries and always throwing away batteries. Having the rechargeable ones just make it easy. So you put them in the device, you have a couple extra on the charger. When you need to swap them out, you just swap them out and then the old ones are now going back on the charger. I, I just think it's a great way to be able to not have so many batteries inside of the RV and when they are needing to be recharged and replaced, you have the ability to do that. Now this next one is probably because we're full time, but I love this for RVing and it's my noise canceling headphones. So these are Sony wired and Bluetooth headphones. I usually use them wired almost all the time, but uh, they come in so handy trying to work inside the RV. So when you're trying to do life inside of an RV, it's not just a vacation. It's nice to be able to have a little noise canceling solution for being able to get some work done or uh, just trying to block out some of that noise when you're trying to focus on something. Good noise canceling headphones can go a, a long way to helping you get what you need done. And the last bonus item that we have on the things that we love inside the RV is my wife said, the essential oils and the diffuser that we have over there. The diffuser has been working great for us. I know they have newer updated ones. That one's plastic, it's magnetized to the countertop so we don't have to move it for travel days. But it's nice to be able to have that diffuser back there, use the essential oils and change the smell on the inside of the RV so you're not always smelling dinner or breakfast five, six, maybe 10 hours later. So it's a great addition to have inside the RV that we love. So I'd love to hear from you guys what you have inside your RV that you absolutely love that's not really dedicated to RVing, but you wouldn't take it out of your RV and you're always going to use it. You love it for RVing. I'd love to hear from you guys. So like I said, that's gonna do it for today. That's our list. I hope some of these things help you guys out, whether you can see those microfiber towels can save you some space and actually dry out in a day, or whether it's a noise canceling headphones to be able to get some work done on your extended RVing trip. So I hope some of this information helps you out. So that's gonna do it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.